Story time. So when I was 15 years old, I was diagnosed with chronic neurological Lyme disease. Because of this, I missed most of my high school years. When I did come to class on the rare occasion, the students and the teachers were not necessarily nice to me. So I had this one math teacher in algebra and trigonometry. I would often fall asleep in his class because one, he was really boring, and two, I was really sick. So I had a pass that allowed me to go to the nurse's office whenever I wanted to, to go take a nap. There was an understanding between me and the teachers that I would just hold up the pass and they would just let me go and I didn't have to say anything. One day I hold up the pass in his class. He decides to snatch it out of my hand and proceeds to ask the entire class, what is this? I almost started crying. I said, that's a pass to go to the nurse's office. I need to go. And he starts laughing at me and says, oh, okay, what do you need this for? I said, I have Lyme disease. I took it out of his hand and I ran to the nurse's office. As I was running out the classroom, I overheard this one girl say, wow, Mr. Blah, 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 you're a jerk. She has Lyme disease. This is only one of the many times I was mistreated by teachers. When I had my first heartbreak, my dad sat me down and he asked, boy, why is you so sad? I just found out my girlfriend been cheating on me and kind of heartbroken because I thought I loved her. Imagine tears just streaming down my face as I say that. And then my dad started swirling around his whiskey staring at it. Then he took a sip and he looked at me and he said some shit that I'm still trying to understand to this day. What you need to understand, son, is the human brain doesn't fully form until you're 25. You don't even know how to properly handle your emotions yet. You don't know what love is. You've only ever loved the feeling. And trust me, I spent a majority of my life loving the feeling. And loving the feeling's a lot different than loving a person. And I understand philosophically he's explaining the difference between lust and love because when you're young, lust will feel like love. But now I always have to ask myself, do I love the person or do I love the feeling? Hey guys, I'm going to tell you about how I got punished for a year. So I was in elementary school at the time and I was watching Zach and Cody and they was mad at their mom. When they was mad at their mom, they had licked her sandwich and they had gave it to her. So when my mom had made me mad, I had, she was like, um, can you go downstairs and get me some grape juice? I was in my head like, I got something for you because I was mad as a kid. So I went downstairs and I remember I spit in her drink, y'all. And then I went upstairs to go, um give it to her and just kept on going about my day like nothing happened y'all that next morning came by and all i remember is her asking me like did i do it or whatever and i was looking like yeah because that code didn't lie about it they said the truth when they had got caught so i was like yeah and i thought it was gonna sweep under the rug just like the white parents let it sweep under the rug no y'all when i say my whole household stopped talking to me i was so sad because like when you a kid yo all you got is your little bit of family i was just in my head like i did not even know it was this bad so time goes by yo when I say every single day I would come home from school and I would have to just sweep the floor, do my home. I would want to sweep the floor because that meant I could be downstairs. So I would be sweeping the floor and doing my homework. And y'all already know when you do homework with your parents as a kid, that, <laughs> that's jail itself. They'll be yell over top of you. Da, 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 what is two plus two? You got two. Yeah. So that was how I got punished for a year. And I remember after that, I used to always get punished for a year increments. I never was like one of those kids that just got punished for like a week or something like that. I would always just do something extreme and get my year messed up. Oh, but let me show y'all what it looked like all stared up before we go. Mm. Get into it. So the other day I asked a woman what she did for work. I'm just a mum, she tells me. I did not like this! Just a mum. Just. A mum. Grew a parasitic potato in your womb for nine months and this is the credit you give yourself? You listen here, person who produces other people. You have never been just anything. You're a motherfucking miracle. Irreplaceable. The existence of humankind is predicated on your very survival. No one would be here without you. So you're just. Quite literally, the most important thing that's ever happened. And sexy. And I will hear no different. <laughs> mm. What is she looking at? Ma'am, ma'am, I need to speak with you. Yes, ma'am. Can I help you? First off, <laughs> we're not going to call me ma'am. I am not that old. Second off, do you not see what I see? Um, apparently not. Must be my 
old eyes. I'm not really enjoying your attitude and I know you see what I see. It's right there. What's right there? The dog? The dog? Yes, the dog. Why is there a dog in the store? That is so unsanitary. It's a service animal. It's allowed to be in here. Uh, well, mm -mm, not while I'm shopping. That is so gross. And quite honestly, it does say no pets allowed. You are correct. No pets. I'm sorry, are you mocking me? I said no pets, and then you said no pets. Like, obviously, that's what I meant, so why is this even an issue that we're having? Yeah, but that does not pertain to service animals, so I don't understand what the problem is here. Get the dog out of your store so I can finish shopping. I could do that, but I feel like you would hurt me if I tried to carry you out of here. What? No, I said the dog. <laughs> so did I. You know what? I don't even want to shop in a place that allows that in here anyway. Okay, bye. But that'll be anywhere you shop, just FYI. <laughs> You're so funny. This has never happened before. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, I'm finally speaking out about this because I will not be silent any longer. A lot of people might think I'm crazy, but I don't care. This is my personal experience, okay? So, like last year in October, a mushroom ring, or also known as a fairy ring, appeared in my garden. And I got really excited about this because I thought, wow, like that's amazing. It's, and I know that they're supposed to be magical and fairies, obviously, and I'm like, I'm a fairy, so I should go check it out. I don't know anything specific about like folklore fairies and stuff before this, but I got excited and I walked into the fairy ring and I was just like, cool, like, this is so fun, fairies, haha. <laughs> Later on in the day, I'm like, maybe I should do some more research on fairies, like how, how to communicate with them, how you know if they're nearby and stuff. And I find out that literally the worst thing that you can do is walk in a fairy ring. The worst thing you can do. I find out that people that often walk in fairy rings get cursed by fairies. And what does being cursed by a fairy look like, do I hear you ask? Well, for fun, fairies like to rearrange your things, steal things and just put them back in the most random places, basically making you think you're crazy. This is what I have been experiencing for, like since, since I walked in the fairy ring. And maybe I am just paranoid. Maybe I'm just trying to put the blame on something else and not myself and the fact that I'm flaky. But all of the time, my things are there, like, my phone will just disappear and then it will turn up in the most obvious place it will literally be on my bed and i'm like i could not have missed that someone is like messing with me and my friends have experienced it too i feel like whenever i'm around anyone like people have the same thing and their things just disappear and then just turn up in the most random places as well and i think they're just enjoying bullying me at the moment they probably think it's funny as well that i'm like solana the green fairy and they're like what a loser like she really wants to be us if anyone knows any ways that i can kind of not be cursed anymore by fairies um i would find that really helpful also because apparently like when fairies notice you they don't stop noticing you like they know that i exist now so is there any way that i can become friends with a fairy like or just be more like calm with them so they stop cursing me i don't know <coughs> people might think i'm crazy but i don't care like i'm serious please someone help just an update <laughs> i just decided to knock a tooth back oh, i don't know if you can see but i've got a little lisp it's pretty cute <laughs> I had to get it. hello everyone <laughs> the teeth is back it's back to normal bit swollen um i was playing rugby and a girl got swung around in a tackle and her head literally hit my mouth and then that's what happened it knocked it back i wasn't wearing a proper mouth guard i am now waiting to get a dent like orthodontic mouth guard because i've had braces before um the dentist actually told me to get my retainer and click it back in there was heaps of blood when ah yeah. oh when i took it out it was fine um and now we've just got to see in six weeks i've gone to check up with him and he said 75 percent chance it'll be okay um and if it gets black and starts bruising really really badly then we've got a problem but 
just have to wait it out. I can't really eat anything. Um, everything is small foods or just really mushy foods, but going to get a better mouth guard and I think this is probably the end of my rugby career. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, nobody can take away the things we share. Hope you don't mind how I need you like oh, oh, oh. I love you, they don't understand. Oh. And it's crazy how you're my best friend. You're always in my mind, let's dance to the reading of your heartbeat. The way I love you, they don't understand. And it's crazy how you're my best friend. You're always in my mind, let's dance to the reading of your Dance with me, dance with me, yeah.